Uh, let's discuss this incident further with Kevin Labone, a crime analyst with the South African Institute of Race Relations. He is live in Johannesburg. Uh, Mr. Labone, thanks for joining us. Now, a rise in crime is being witnessed there in South Africa. Is the government overwhelmed by incidences of insecurity? Uh, I couldn't uh, catch you clearly on that question, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Labone, just saying that there is a rise in insecurity there is in, in South Africa. And putting a question to you, whether the South African government is indeed overwhelmed by this rise of insecurity. Okay, well, firstly, to correct uh, what you've just said, ma'am, there has not been a rise in crime uh, in the long term in South Africa. If you look at the long term trends, you will find that... Uh, 17 of the crime, serious crimes in South Africa have gone down between 1994 and the previous financial year. Uh, it's only that uh, of concern, aggravated robbery uh, has not gone down throughout all the years. It has been rising uh, all throughout since 1994. And uh, of concern, another again, is that the, the, for the first time in about eight years, the murder rate uh, increased from year to year between 2012 and 2013. Uh, having said that, uh, we have one of the highest crime rates in the world. That has always been a concern. Uh, the authorities uh, have told uh, the South African public that they are on top of the crime situation in the country and that all the statistics that I'm mentioning now are a sign that they are getting on top of the situation and that they will tackle crime and bring it down. But uh, yes, we, are, we have one of the highest crime rates in the world. And that uh, is what uh, uh, is a problem in South Africa. So you did mention there that much as uh, crime rates are coming down, uh, cases of aggravated robbery and murder are on the rise. So what would you say are the factors contributing to this rise? Well, it depends on what uh, crime categories you are talking about. If we take uh, the group of crimes that fall under property crimes, uh, those can be attributed uh, to to uh, the South African society. We have one of the most unequal societies in the world. Uh, we've, we are up there with countries like Brazil, and that has been shown to have a uh, contribution as well to, to property crimes, uh, the, the, the level of uh, inequality in a society. Uh, when it comes to crimes uh, such as um, uh, crimes against the person, that is your murder and uh, aggravated robberies, as well as serious assaults, uh, we, we come from a history of, of violence. Uh, if, we, if we remember very well, the previous government used violence a lot to suppress the aspirations of uh, the majority of our society. And the response as well from, from the liberation movements at the time was to also use violence uh, to try and achieve their aims, political aims. And so uh, with such a history, uh, it, the perception might have grown uh, in the general population that uh, violence is the best way, uh, best means to achieve an end. All right, Mr. Kevin Labone, live for us there in Johannesburg. Thank you for joining us.